Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to limit the frame rate for testing. In making a game, you have to make sure it works on many different types of hardware. One of the things that can cause serious issues is the frame rate. For example, if you're moving a transform and multiplying the movement vector by delta time, everything could work perfectly fine when playing at a high frame rate since delta time will be tiny, but it could break everything when running at a low frame rate since delta time will be massive. To show that problem in action, here it is a scene. I have a unit and I want to move it to this position. So let's run the code and see how it goes. There's the transform and as you saw, he moved from there to there, perfectly fine. He got there and he stopped. Works perfectly fine. So if you had this type of movement in your game, you would assume everything was working fine. Here is the code for moving that unit. We simply have an is moving boolean that simply moves while that one is true. We got a target position, we call it a move direction and a movement speed, and we move towards that direction by a movement amount, which is movement speed multiplied by time dot delta time. So very simple movement. And after moving, he does a quick distance check and checks if it is close enough. If so, he stops moving. So a very simple transform movement. And as you saw, it works perfectly fine when running normally. However, in order to test, we can limit the frame rate by using application dot target frame rate. So in this case, let's limit it to 10 frames to see how this code would run on a computer with low specs. Okay, there's the unit and yep, as you go, the unit moved from there to there and that's the target position, but he's not stopping there as he was previously. He's jumping back and forth between two positions. The issue that is happening here is directly related to the frame rate. As you can see, we are running at 10 frames per second. So that means in the code in here, our time dot delta time will be a very large number. So essentially transform dot position will be on the left of the target, then it moves by a very large amount, then all of a sudden it's on the right and on the left and so on and so forth. So he never actually stops. So the fix in here is very simple. We just clamp our move amount to never go past the target position. So we simply do. So the clamp function takes a value and returns that value between a certain minimum and a maximum. So in here, it is perfect for validating our move amount. So if the move amount is larger than the actual distance remaining, then it will be capped to that distance. So now let's see the code. There's a unit and yep, as you saw, it went to the target position and it stopped right there. So now our code works both at a high frame rate and at a low frame rate. So again, all of this to show that you need to test your game in various frame rates because you never know in what type of hardware the game will be run on. So for that, you can use the target frame rate to limit the frame rate in order to test. When you want to stop testing, you can simply set the target frame rate to minus one, which equals unlimited. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.